The rain nattering at the roof at first invades a vivid dream in the midst of an afternoon nap and the thunder explodes like a landmine in a parka blowing the humid heat away. You rise. In the rain-swept breeze, you stand shirtless on the deck like a half-naked soldier. Enjoy walking and surviving in the last jagged bolt of lightning. Answering the small heroic. A voice calls through the screen in October, still warm enough for open windows, and I don't answer. I'm afraid of something, the voice of a stranger, neighbor, murderer, or the voice of my conscience tumbling past. Now I'm getting old and tiring of fear and most everything else. At night the train, howling iron, clattering, wobbling, but fearless on its single steadfast route. The voice calls again, renunciation without replacement is futile, I answer. The voice, it's me. We'll see what happens next. Hero. My warm, constant love and I woke up drowsy at 4 a.m. and sat up semi-slumbering and lazy as a river log. Talked most of the rest of the night as the rain softly spoke to the grass. The same reassuring message that speaks of warmth inside, fuel for growth, further proof, emotionally and physically, that the world won't end, at least not tonight. Backyard Pastoral. Come see my wooded back lot. It's mid-spring, and the azaleas and other flowers are shades of not quite red and pink, with white for accent and the rain-soaked green lawn for contrast. I can't do it justice, so you must come and see. The simple wonders we die trying to describe in our imperfect language. Yes, my love is with me. And that makes it all the more beautiful and indescribable. But you know what that is. Weren't you young and in love or both once?